Hello everyone, in this video we will be configuring the DNS records in Proton Mail to authenticate email domain. So you need to add the SPF, DKIM and DMARC records in your DNS provider for verification and after verification your domain will be authenticated and your emails will not go to the spam folder. So let's start the configuration process. After logging in ProtonMail account, click on the gear icon next to your profile name. Now go to all settings and here go to domain names. Click add domain, write down your domain name, click next and now enter your ProtonMail account password. The domain is added and here you have a verification record. Add this record to your DNS provider to verify that you own this domain. Go to your domain, then open the DNS tab and here click add record. Select the record type txt. And in the name field, write at the rate. Now paste this verification record value and save your record. After adding it, click next. And you see this green tick mark indicates that the domain is verified. And in the addresses tab, you can select an email address for your domain. You can either add new address here or select any address from here. After addresses, we have the MX records. If your domain has MX records from any other source, you need to delete the previous MX records in order to add the ProtonMail MX records. Select type MX, write at the rate in the name field. Now copy this value and put it in the mail server field. Set priority 10 for the first MX record. Add the second MX record with priority 20. Now click next. And here we have the SPF record. We are going to add this record just like we added other records. But you need to make sure that your domain doesn't have any existing SPF. If there is, you need to merge the previous SPF value with ProtonMail SPF because adding more than one SPF records can cause conflicts. For merging the SPF records, you can go to dmarkdkim.com. SPF merge tool link is given in the description. Just add your domain name here, then add the ProtonMail SPF, click Merge SPF Values and this tool detects your existing SPF records in the domain and merges them with this given value and gives you a merged value. Just edit your existing record with the merged value and click the Save button and your SPF values for both sources will work just fine. Now click Next and here we have three CNAME DKIM values. We are going to add all these DKIM records. Select type CNAME, add the record name. Now copy the value, add it in the target field. Don't forget to turn off the proxy because if it is turned on, it will divert the traffic to your DNS server instead of your email server, which can cause authentication issues. Now let's add other two DKIM records with proxy turned off. And lastly, you have a DMARC record. This DMARC value is a pre-quarantine value which quarantines emails coming from unauthorized sources but it does not reject the unauthorized emails. Moreover, this value doesn't contain the destinations where the DMARC reports will be going. That is why we have built a DMARC tool which not only helps you implement a strict DMARC policy but it also provides you insights for securing your emails and blocking the unauthorized senders. You can find the link to this tool in the description as well. And here, add your domain, click check DMARC, and this tool analyzes your domain for any existing DMARC value or any conflicting DNS records. After analysis, it gives you an initial monitoring value. First, it monitors all the emails coming from all sources, and once it has enough data, then it guides you how you can block the unauthorized emails add this DMARC record to your DNS provider. After adding it, click sign up now to get access to the reports and analytics dashboard. Here add your business email. Then you will see this interface. Now click connect domain and here you will also see a ownership record. I have already added the ownership record so it is not displayed here. Instead there is a green badge but you will also need to add this ownership record. Once both records are added, Click check DNS records and now your domain is set up and it will start receiving reports after 24 hours.
you can see your DMARC analytics, the DMARC reports, and also you can see the DNS history here in this tool. It stores all of your DNS records that you add to your DNS provider. So this means if you delete any record from the DNS provider, that record is still available here. So after adding all the records, go back to ProtonMail and click Done. Now refresh the status to update your DNS records. And here the green badges indicate that all these records are verified and your domain is authenticated. So guys, that was all for today. I hope you have understood how you can authenticate your domain with ProtonMail. If anything is unclear or you have any confusion, feel free to ask in the comment section. And you can also schedule a meeting with one of our experts and we can guide you through the whole process. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel to stay updated. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care and have a good day.